Hello, this is Turk72, back again with another review of an old classic. This is the Breda 84 FS Cheetah in uh, 380 ACP. Uh, this is my, by far, my favorite gun. So I might be a little bit uh, more long-winded and biased than usual. Um, but this you're looking at is a, an endangered species. This is a full size 38 ACP. No pocket gun here. Um, although it is small enough and uh, light enough to conceal, I feel. Uh, it has a 3.8 inch barrel. Uh, the normal capacity is 13 rounds. Uh, there are plenty of uh, 10 round magazines available if you live in a gun restricted state. Uh, so let's review some of the features. Um, I believe the uh, total weight is about uh, 1.7 pounds. It uh, does have two dot sights, uh, but it's very accurate. You just overlap them. Um, it has a flat forward trigger, trigger guard uh, that is, uh, can be very useful for uh, gripping. It's got the paddle safety. It's a great ambidextrous safety. Um, again, it doesn't easily engage or disengage. It's got a good uh, snap to it, so you know when it's going to go off. Um, so the safety also acts as a decocker. I can't seem to. Uh, anyway, let's make sure the gun is empty. The magazine out. Okay, it's empty. So now I'll try the decocking feature. So, and despite all of these uh, safe, safety mechanisms, yes, it does have a magazine disconnect, which uh, completely disengages the trigger. Um, yeah, this is a 2012 production gun, so it is going to have. Um, the modern safety features, but despite that, the uh, trigger is very smooth, both on a double action and single action. Um, let's see, I must not have uh, put the magazine in good enough. Oh, it takes safety off, okay. So there's the uh, double action, Again, it's easy to take out that slack. Um, and we'll try the single action. Again, it's pretty far back already. Again, very smooth, both on double and single action. Um, the grip is very ergonomic. Um, I think it's perfect for medium-sized hands. It's somewhat rounded. Um, you know, it's more rounded than ve uh, rectangular shapes. Um, get it, it's very good. So it's got the open barrel design. I mean, open slide design, I should say. Um, you know, it's supposed to prevent stove pipes. Um, you still will get, uh, you know, misfeeds uh, very rarely. Um, but I say, you know, this approaches the uh, quality of a SIG. Maybe not quite there, but um, it is very good. And it's got just enough of a beaver tail to protect you. Um, again, it's, uh, I'm pretty accurate with it. And, um, you know, I can do place, if I need to make a place shot with a handgun, you know, this is the one I want. And uh, so one thing uh, the negative on this one is the slide is very, fairly hard to pull back. Um, and the magazines are somewhat uh, difficult to load. So here's the uh, magazine here. And, you know, the second to last one is hard, but it's doable. Uh, loading the last round uh, pretty much takes all my strength. You know, oftentimes at the range, I will uh, just give up and uh, 
not load the last round. But uh, other than that, I think it's a very good gun. Um, it's a shame that the uh, full size 38 uh, auto market has uh, pretty much gone to all uh, you know pocket guns and such. If you have a chance to uh, try one, you know I don't think there's anyone available for rent anywhere. But um, if you uh, have a chance to try one uh, from somebody, yeah, I highly recommend it. Especially if you're first getting into shooting. You know I think uh, a 38 ACP full size is a uh, good platform to start. So now the cost on these, I'm not sure if they're producing them, uh, but on gun broker ones for a uh, new to excellent condition, they usually sell you know past uh, seven eighty or so. You might be able to get one uh, with some age on it for around uh, for around six fifty if you're lucky. Uh, there is also a nickel version of it. You know, those ones tend to um, have quite the uh, bidding more on them. So, yeah, those ones uh, sail into 800 range pretty quickly. Um, but if you're lucky, you know, you can get one uh, pretty good. Uh, you know, I happen to get this one for 650 but that was pre, pre new town, and I was uh, pretty fortunate. So, um... You know, the grips, you know, the plastic grips, you know, if you find a used one on the market and, you know, the grips are scratched up, there's plenty of, plenty of grips out there on, uh, you know, eBay or something you can get for, for uh, $25, so don't, don't let it, uh, that deter you. So, um, I think the safety is reversible, I'm not sure, uh, you know, with a little bit of gunsmithing, but, um, yeah, I think this is, uh, Excellent gun, and if you find a uh, full-size uh, 38, again, this one has a removable, you know, barrel. You know, some of the other 38s, like the uh, Sig uh, P230 uh, series, or the, um, um, you know, Walther PPK, those barrels are fixed to the frame. So there's probably going to be a little bit more recoil, and, um, you know, if your barrel goes, then... Uh, your probably gun goes as well. So, um, again, this is a, a dying breed. It shouldn't be. But, uh, anyway, that's my review from Turk72. Thanks for watching.